Hi, my name is Lena. And I think that if you have the chance to do something towards a more sustainable future on this planet, you have to take that chance and do that. And that's why I'm standing in the front of the camera here today, trying to catch your attention for just seven minutes and show you how we can make transportation CO2 neutral and at the same time, reach an attractive annual recurring revenue. So lean back and enjoy. Probably, you know a situation similar to this one. Maybe the windows of your flat face a busy, noisy street like here, or on the way to the bus stop, you sometimes accidentally inhale in the wrong moment and you taste the smell of the diesel exhaust. We all know how that smells, it stinks, and we also know that it's not that good for our health and neither for the environment. It causes climate change and politicians know that too. That's why the European Union decided to pass the Clean Vehicle Directive. It forces municipalities to buy 45% less new diesel city buses from 2021 onwards. Now that's a huge challenge for municipalities because good alternatives are still being searched for. So what happens usually to used buses from Germany and Europe? Usually they are sold abroad and there they go on polluting the air and emitting CO2. So we are just shifting the problem to somewhere else. Now in this picture, you see the used bus of our first pilot customer. It, this bus is 20 years old roughly and it has a broken engine, but it consists of a lot of valuable resources that we can make something great new of instead of wasting them. And that's what we did. We upcycled the bus. And that's how it looks like after the upcycling, but the best of it is not visible from outside. It's the heart of it, it's inside. It's the CM fluids drive. We removed all the diesel components and put new parts in, like a biofuel tank, an onboard charger, a electric axle and a buffer battery. Now, why is this so special? Because the CM fluids drive combines the advantage of two te technologies. We have a purely electric drive, which enables us to drive very silently and to recover braking energy. And as a physicist, I can tell you that that makes a huge difference for heavy vehicles that start and stop all the time, like city buses. But we just need a very small buffer battery because it gets recharged all the time by our onboard charger. And that's the second huge advantage. We can refuel in just five minutes and then drive another 800 kilometers or so. And I think that this is the key to meet the needs of our customers. And maybe that's the reason why our, our pilot customers look happy like this when we presented the bus to them. So far, so good, right? But now we still need the fuel. And this needs to be CO2 neutral. It needs to be burned clean, be war free, and to be available in huge amounts right now. And on the search for that, we found a huge potential. On the picture here, you see a biogas plant. And there are more than 9,000 of them spread all over Germany. And there are hundreds more in Europe. With just 5% of the biogas, we could make all city buses CO2 neutral. To use biogas as a fuel, we just need to liquefy it on site at the biogas plant and deliver it directly to the customer. After it is used in the bus, the used CO2 can be taken up by the plants again and they build new biomass from it. And that way we generate a closed regional carbon cycle. And with all that put together, we reach 100% CO2 neutrality, 95% less air pollution, 30% more energy efficiency, and we can offer all that for our customers at the same cost as the diesel bus. So, sounds great, right? How can we reach all that? We have four different income streets, streams. We have the one-time revenues from the, few, from the up sales of upcyclings. And then we have the fuels part of the business where we sell the fuel, the biomethane, 
and we have two additional revenue streams where we sell bio CO2, for example, to Coca-Cola, and we trade with, with biofuel quotas, for example, with Shell. So on a five years projection, our revenue in EBIT looks like this. We start with the one-time sales of upcyclings. And then as more and more buses are on the road, we have an increasing share of recurring revenues through the fuels part of the business. And the most beautiful thing about all that is that the increasing revenues are perfectly tied to an increasing avoidance of CO2 emissions and pollutions. So who's behind CM fluids? We have my colleague Marcus, who is a brilliant mechanical engineer and passionate about regional circular economy. And we have my father Hans, who invented the business and, <laughs> and um, works in the energy transition since 30 years already. And we are really happy that there are a lot of people joining us and supporting us to make this business thrive. Like for example, Norbert Haug, who is the former vice president of Mercedes-Benz Motorsports. So now it is your turn again. Let's bring this forward, let's connect and bring it into every city. Thank you.